In this video, I will explain you how you can use the TypeScript or what is the benefit of using the TypeScript instead of JavaScript. So TypeScript files are normally end with .ts extension as you can see in this diagram .ts files and what happens is TypeScript compiler converts those files into JS files. Now the question is why we need TypeScript files, uh, why we can't just use plain JavaScript files to write the code. The main reason why we need to use the TypeScript or why we should use the TypeScript is that it is a superset of JavaScript so whatever you write in TypeScript or whatever you write in JavaScript actually is a actually can be run in the TypeScript as well. So TypeScript is like a superset of JavaScript and main benefit of uh, using TypeScript, uh, TypeScript is that it provides the type safety in the program. Now main uh, reason why we need to have type safety is that when we write the uh, code that is type safe then what happens is there is very less scope for making the compile time errors for example you can't use string instead of number or vice versa you have to use the correct data type when you are writing the code in normal js what happens is there is no type dynamically the type is assigned to the variables so that is a big problem because programmer can make mistakes like whenever the pro, uh, let's say function is expecting string and if programmer passes the number at compile time you will not see any errors or when you are writing the code nothing will break but when you are actually executing it then there may be lots of errors so using the typescript saves time and also provides type safety to the programs so let us see how how to do uh, like how to convert the ts files into js files so in the Visual Studio code, we have got one uh, ts file. You can see type sample.ts. This is a TypeScript file. And over there, we have got a simple function. And note that here we have got colon string. So in TypeScript files, we can provide the data types just like in uh, C language or say C++, C sharp.net or Java. On all these languages, we can put the data type in the parameters and with the data type what happens is compiler knows like what data is expected for example here we are expecting the person or the argument has to be a string type and here I am calling that function so if I pass the number there then what will happen is I will get the error for example 12 and you can see it instantly shows the error saying that argument of type 12 is not assignable to the parameter of type string if you write the same code in the JavaScript, what will happen is it will still allow you to pass the 12 and that is a big problem. That is what I was talking about earlier. So let us assume that we have written this TypeScript code. Now we can't use this TypeScript code directly in our uh, Java uh, browsers because browsers only understand JavaScript. So to use this TypeScript file in our browsers what we need to do is we need to convert this file typescript file into javascript file and for that we can use typescript compiler so here you can see i'm using this tsc command that is typescript compiler and uh, what i'm telling is okay this is the file convert this file into javascript using tsc command so just hit enter and then what will happen is js file will be created right here and then that will be a plain JS file that you can use in your browsers. So I just hit enter and it will give me type sample.js as you can see here. And if you notice that colon string is removed because that is not supported in plain JS. So only uh, difference that you see in the two files is that we have this colon string in the TypeScript file and the main benefit or main benefit that we got by using the type is that programmer cannot pass anything apart from string when calling that function 
and that saves the time. I hope uh, this helps understand uh, the TypeScript and why we should use the TypeScript. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video.